Hey everyone, welcome to Provider Spotlight. We have been interviewing really awesome providers, folks in health and wellness all over the United States, and now Canada. Yeah, <laughs> we have our first guest from Canada. We're very excited. Um, want to introduce you to our guest speaker, Chris Belfry of Belfry Wellness. And he is a healer and coach, and he helps women to get to the root of their back pain so they never have to see another chiropractor, physical therapist, or doctor again. Super intriguing. We want to know more, Chris. Thanks for ha thanks for being on here with us. <laughs> thanks for having me. This yeah, is great. Yeah, we're excited. Um, so let's dive in a little bit. Sure. Tell us, obviously very compelling intro so right. what tell us your story tell us what inspired you to open up your own practice yeah i mean do you have three days uh no it's a uh, it's a long journey but really the short end of it is that um i was in a car accident when i was 13 and it was really in that moment i wanted to help people and and so i kind of went on this journey of just um you know i guess my dream being a canadian was to play in the uh, play in nhl and after my car accident, uh, that changed. Um, and so uh, I realized that I wanted to help people. And so I just kind of went on this um, this inner work, but it really wasn't inner. It was just something as inner knowing that I wanted to help people. And so I went to uh, university and I didn't even know what I wanted to do. Like there were so many things I was looking at, yeah. but I knew I loved science and I loved uh, sports. So I went, to, I went to school in Michigan. So I, I did a lot of schooling in the States. So um, there I took exercise science and... I met, it was such a small school and I, I had like one-on-one -on -one time with our professor and he was a sports psychologist by you know, his doctorate was in sports psychology. And so we talked about like, you know, the power of thinking then of like, even then athletes were already talking about visualization. Pitchers were using it, golfers, basketball players professionally. And I was just like amazed. And so I ended up really studying. I got a minor in psychology because it was just so amazing the, the power of thought and and i was applying that to like the body and you know the amazement of body and exercise and you know how you know the, the benefits of all that which is you know we all know um and so uh and i still at that time didn't really know early on what i wanted to be and my mom was seeing a chiropractor because she had some back issues and i was like she was like chris this is exactly how you know you talk you really should look into it so i was like okay and you know i dove head first and this was back before the internet's really, you know, everyone had it. So I was at the school library and searching it online and having that dial up and, you know, um, at school. Uh, so, yeah, so I realized like, Hey, this is what I wanted to do. And so, uh, yeah, I just started to look at all the options. I started following a chiropractor and, um, so I ended up going to chiropractic school and halfway through chiropractic school, because at the time I was like a straight chiropractor, meaning like if you had a spine, you know, if you're breathing, it has spine, I needed to adjust you. Yeah. And, you know, love my parents, you know, they were my early practice dummies, you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and my, and my friends, <laughs> sometimes they left with more pain than uh, they had coming in uh, because they let me practice on them. But really along that journey, a uh, professor said, uh, chiropractic can help 75% of 75% of the people. And, you know, naively at the time, I wanted to help everybody. And so I just really yeah. started to study as many chiropractic techniques as I could. So I started studying like, oh, you name it, I had, you know, heard of it or had studied it. And probably to this day, I've studied over 20, and I would say at least 20 chiropractic techniques. Wow. And so, um, and a lot of it was in school. So nights and weekends was just me focused on, you know, learning another technique to help more people. And, uh, and so when I left school, I thought, you know, I'm ready. I got all these skills and because I want to help everyone. And and uh, when I was actually going to move to Kentucky, I went to school in Missouri and I was going to move to Kentucky and practice in a personal injury clinic with a guy. And uh, I went home for Christmas and my mom was seeing this other guy and he was doing something different. And she's like, he doesn't really under explain it well. Can you come and maybe you guys can talk and Certainly enough, I started chatting with him and he was helping people with all sorts of problems. And he was like, look, man, I'll teach it. And I had some time because I couldn't move to Kentucky because I had to write the state exam for jurisprudence. So in a few months, I said, sure, I'll, let's let's dive into this. And so I ended up liking it. I delayed my t 
time to moving down there and I ended up deciding to practice this because he was helping people with all sorts of things and uh, like digestive issues to obviously pain and muscular skeletal stuff. So in that, um, I started to realize like it was better, but there was still pieces missing, you know, I was, cause I'm always a kid that's asking why and, 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 you know, if I was getting the root of the problem as a chiropractor, then why do people have to keep coming over and over again? And, you know, once it's better, why does it come back? And I was, and to me, you know, I was focused on that. You know, I could, you know, in my practice, I would get, you know, 100 people came in and 99 were doing better. It was the one person that would drive me crazy <laughs> to my own detriment. You know, like friends would be like, yeah, Chris, you're saying all these other things. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, Sally's not getting better. Like, why isn't she getting better? But these other people were. And, and so uh, after, you know, I realized, you know, when I initially learned that other technique, I just realized that applying some chiropractic and some other things I was learning to improve, I ended up creating my own technique. So around 2005, I opened up my own place, my own name and started doing my own technique. And because I was seeing some of his clients and they're like, Chris, what are you doing? It's different. And so that's when I, at this point I had to like realize like, I had to change. I wasn't doing that anymore. And and so uh, I, I've been practicing that ever since. Um, but what I continue to notice that, you know, some people would get better and I'd never see them again. And then, but the majority or about half the people would be like, they get good for maybe months, sometimes a year, but then they had to come back. And what's the difference? And that's where I really started to focus on. And a lot of those people had, you know, um, underlying issues and it's not structural. And, uh, and that's why I started to investigate too. Um, but before that, the investigation to understanding was really like understanding why. And what ended up happening was, uh, a lot of them have stress. Stress could be now stress, but stress could be, uh, past related stress. So, you know, you know, some people would come in and this is like thinking like early. So this is 2005. So, you know, this is by 2010 ish really or a little bit earlier with her that i started to realize emotions played a role in our well-being so at the time it was either like some people are structural some stuff you put in your body and stuff you know you're thinking but uh and so that's how i was looking at it back then and and so i was treating all those uh avenues um but i wouldn't tell people because it was really not the time people didn't get like how you know because i have someone that was abused uh as a child how does that relate now to back pain yeah. But the funny thing is we let go like that, that trauma and all of a sudden the back pain went away and she's a totally different woman confronting her abuser. It was just like phenomenal. Like some of the stuff that was happening based on working through this stuff, you know, I've had people where, you know, they have a chronic issue of like people pleasing and that's leading to back pain. And there's a lot of different things like, like from a personality trend standpoint, you're like, okay, well that relates to this. And so it wasn't always just, you know, um, and so I started to apply that. And the more and more I researched, the more I would say that, you know, went from maybe 30% emotional to being 50% emotional to today, to me, 100% of your issues are based on emotions and not just what's going on now, but a lot of it is related to now. So people going through, you know, job issues or money issues or uh, relationship issues, they'll say, well, you know, it's, and we always want to blame the other person. It's, you know, my boss isn't giving me a raise. It's my you know, my, you know, my husband or my wife, it's my dad, it's the in-laws or, and, but a lot of it's now, but it's based on some stuff that's happened in our childhood. And so it's really just uh, teaching people. And, and that's really what I do now is teach people just, and you don't have to, it's not therapy. So it's not like you have to relive a story because yeah, sometimes, you know, it may be something serious, but it's not a therapy that we have to, uh, to review. It's just your body's holding on to it. And it's just a matter of helping and teaching the body to let it go because it's stored in our body. Like, like I, you know, I use an imagery of like, it's like an attic or your, you know, garage that, you know, when you buy a new house, you love the garage. It's so big. And when you're ready to move out, you can't even park your car in there. You can barely fit your bike in there because the garage is, you know, packed full of junk. And yeah. that's really our life. When we, we come in with a body, you know, that's that full garage. It's open and full. And, you know, every, every day there's more stuff you're piling in and, by the time you're ready to leave the earth, your garage is full and you can barely, you know, put. Yeah, you know, a lot's accumulated in there. In there. <laughs> right. 
And so yeah. it's easy to then, you know, put the responsibility. So it's just really just owning that. And I teach people, you know, the process of, you know, relaxing their nervous system to allow yourself to let it go. Yeah. That I really, you know, it's a very interesting approach that you have because I think a lot of people don't focus on the emotional side of right. what, you know, your thoughts, how you feel, things that have happened to you can really affect. I mean, if you're stressed, right, you hold your stress here and you're all like, you know, 100%. <laughs> you feel yeah. that, right? I think Absolutely. everyone feels that. <laughs> yeah. Even anytime, if you think about anything that you, anytime you close your body, you tense, you, you get heavy. It's just like, when you think of like having butterflies in your, like even on good things, like having butterflies, having like uh, anxiety, like you mentioned, or uh, like stress from work or yeah. even good things of like happiness. A lot of times you actually feel in your body. So to say that we don't feel our emotions in our body is, is a lie because, you know, just think of the next time you're worried about your children, you actually feel closed off. You feel heavy. Yeah. There's a density that goes on. Yeah. So it's just the opposite. And I know that, you know, cause I deal with a lot of people like, Oh, well, my x-rays show this or my MRI says I have a disc bulge. Um, but, you know, and that's kind of where, you know, I've researched, you know, lately to kind of explain people that, you know, there's a lot of research today that shows that you can have a disc bulge and have no pain. You can have degeneration. And it, and to me, it always makes sense, but I never really explained it to this. Well, cause I didn't really fully get it. And now I do, but you didn't get a spondylo today, you know, or a disc a disc degeneration today that takes multiple years meaning you've had that for 30 years 20 years 10 years the pain started today it cannot be related to that yet the doctor the chiropractor the physical therapy say oh it's because your degeneration your gen degeneration didn't start today right it's and so how could that have caused you know the pain it, yeah. it, it didn't make sense and i would explain it other ways because when i see from a structural standpoint that made sense to me but the more I realize, the more, you know, it's based on emotion because it, it, that's the only thing that truly makes sense. 65% of people walk around with a disc bulge with no pain. So what happens is the doctor will say, oh, you have pain? Let's get an MRI. Let's do an x-ray. Oh, you have you have a, a disc bulge. Oh, okay. Now I, they're like, yeah, I got the diagnosis. That's what's causing it. I mean, it's it, it doesn't, you didn't get that bulge overnight. You didn't get yeah. degeneration. A hundred percent. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people wondering, they're listening now and they're like, yeah. this is intriguing. You know, they're, they're panning into some, you know, emotional work, maybe, you know, I'm sure you get a lot of questions about, okay, Chris, this is all good. This is really different. I'm not used to this. So like, what do you want people to know about how you work with folks, you know, how how is your approach? What do you do to bring to bring peace, to bring healing? Um, yeah. Maybe there's this, some misconceptions that people have about what you're doing, um, but you can debunk for us. Yeah, that's a interesting question. Yeah, so really, part of it is um, like I just kind of kind of alluded to there is really just that it's not a structural issue, and people yeah. have to get that in their heads. Why? Because as soon as people so even in what I work in now, it's like there's a, a level of, of of people that still kind of want to go back to like, oh, I can't exercise because I've got this slip disc. I tell people like once the pain starts to like, like, like normalize a little bit where you start to feel, go back to those things because it's not causing your pain. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's been there forever. You know, it's not your job because if it's your job, then everyone in your job should have back pain. And it's only you that has back pain, you know? So it's really, um, it's not related to your, any kind of your structural stuff. So, and really what I do is, is and for the people to get it, is that the, the level of where you totally accept that it's not my, my back, it's actually from in within, those are the people that really like flourish. And why I say that I can eliminate forever is because once you have the tools, even if life gets stressful in 10 years or in three years, maybe, you know, you lose your job and all of a sudden you're out of money and you're feeling, you know, stress again, because that, you know, that doesn't necessarily change. Um, you might start to get some back pain because you're just feeling lack of support, lack of financial stability. You have the tools now to say, okay, it's not my back. It's not the disc. It's not the generation. It's, you know, this, what's going on in my life right now. And so then you have the tools to do it. So, you know, um, that's what's cool about what I do because I've always wanted to, you know, help people 
where they don't have to see me. That was one thing is like, it's, it's crazy it is, is like from a financial standpoint, you know, I'd be a chiropractor. I could see people three times a week for the rest of their life. And, you know, uh, you know, spend my time boating and whatever. Um, but, you know, I remember this chiropractor yelling at me, came to me when I was really early on saying, because I was stealing a lot of money. People are coming to see me versus him because I was helping them. They were yeah. out of that rat wheel of like constantly having to go. Yeah. And um, and so he's like, I don't care what you do. It's still chiropractic. I said, well, I mean, there's like hundreds of chiropractic techniques. I said, yeah, it probably could be. But my focus isn't the spine. Yeah. It's not related to, I don't think it's related to subluxation. So it's not. And he left in a huff. And, you know, he wasted, came in and paid me just to yell at me. I'm like, hey, well, take your. Forty dollars at the time, and uh, see you later. <laughs> I think you know what's really interesting, and I I, I love doing this series because you always learn something new. But whenever I'm I'm talking to someone that has their own practice, like the the point they got into this because they they want to help people. Uh -huh. They, they want to heal people through any method possible to make their patient or client feel better and they develop different modalities over time on how to do that and I think it's really cool that you created something so unique and something you know sometimes it's the simplest things in life or something that like work the best and our brains kind All of right. confuse it and make it more complicated than it is right. um, so I love you know that breaking it down for people and seeing that like oh like underneath all of this is herein lies you know the issue and so how do you work with people are you seeing in them in person are you having online sessions with them what's what do you like to do what's yeah most right. helpful? yeah so currently uh i mean because i've been in business for so long i do mm -hmm. still see people in person mm -hmm. i typically i i typically well, only i only have a referral base so i'm really trying to see less people in person mm -hmm. Because it's different. What it, when I do see people in person, it's more like they're coming to me for the work, and sometimes some of your emotions could be long and complicated, and it's and it's they're expecting me to do all the work. So it's just like me, you know, you know, you coming to me to lose weight, and I'm going to the gym for you to lose weight. You know, it, <laughs> you know, and 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 all they do is follow me. So they're going to lose some weight because they're following me around, but. Like yeah. if, if I could teach them and that's really what I'm trying to shift to is in, and that's what I'm doing now is, is part of my practice is online where I can see people from all over okay. and I'm teaching and giving them the, the skills to help themselves, you know, so it is a different person. It's a different, you know, clientele because some people just like Chris, I'm broken, fix me. And some people say, Chris, I'm broken. How can I fix myself? And those are kind of the people that I want to like really work with because, you know, you know, I've got lots of great stories or my own personal stuff because it started with me. I worked on me before I tried on other people. You know, I've been through, you know, the, the gullies and the valleys because it doesn't, at the end of the day, it just doesn't work with back pain. But, you know, I don't want to get too far out of here because it's really, uh, it, it's got to start somewhere, you know. No, but, I, I think that's yeah. awesome. And, you know, for something where someone can start very simply and, Maybe yeah. even think about something today that you can leave folks with. You know, what would you say is there? There's like one tip to think better, or to to even just push this needle in the right direction. Right. right. What What would you say to anyone listening here? There's like one thing that they could do. Yeah, know? simple thing is just breathing. You're taking five minutes and just if you notice your breath, just breathing out through just the pain and notice your pain. You know, and and if you do this practice, you know, 99% of the time you're going to see a reduction in pain, which then should say, like, if just breath work alone can reduce my pain, even if you had a 10 out of 10 and went to a 9, if you had a 7 and went to a 6, which often it's way better than that. But even if it's just that little bit, to me, that alone can't tell, it has to tell you that it's not a structural issue. Yeah. Because how could you just breathe and relax? change do anything to that degeneration you know like no, it's it's not. it's crazy how people come and like you know like how they can't put it all together process it it's like well i have degeneration real bad that i can't sleep but 
I can still do Pilates makes it feel better. I'm like, how does that make sense? Like, how does like movement should be worse than being at rest? You know, yeah. but I, you know, just little things that would be, you know, I love that. You know, yeah. every, every time I do one of these spotlights, I always take something from it, whether I do it right away or I listen to something later. And just right there, I just said, I'm going to listen to Chris and take a couple deep breaths yeah. automatically so much more relaxed. And I'm like, there we go. I took right. it. It's so easy to take one simple tip. I did it. Why you told me and right. feel so much better. And so I think, that's a really great one for people that are watching just as a yeah. reminder because you don't right. think you're going at the speed of light. You have 10 million things going on in your day. We're all human, right. you know, work, kids, just life happens and you forget right. you're breathing on your own. You do it naturally, but you forget to just take it back a second and just be like, it's okay. Right. <laughs> it's You can bring it down here. <laughs> right. Well, you, you think about it, you can live, you know, weeks without food, you know, days without water, but you can only live minutes without breathing. Yeah. Yet we, we don't really spend a lot of time even focused on that. We're more yeah. focused on eating and what you put on your bodies. Well, I mean, you can live weeks without it. Like, why are you spending so much? It should be the other way. Focus more time on your breathing and less about what you're putting in your body. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you actually, you know, fully understand it, you, the, the more you're, you know, because if you look at other countries, they eat heavy, fatty, crappy food like France, you know, lots of desserts. Like Italy has tons of, you know, gluten, all pasta, yet they, they're they not all obese. You know, it's only, you know, we're trained here and, um, you know, um, and I have a good video on like on YouTube on, on just, you know, the whole supersize me. I don't have to get into it here, but, you know, people can go to it and realize that, you know, you know, because I, to me, I'm like, you know, to sometimes, you know, it's funny just even we talked about on the weekend. I, I ask what, why a lot. I'm a, I question everything. And, yeah. and that bothers people sometimes because when they say something that I have a hard time, not that I don't believe them, just that I want to ask why is that like to me, you know, and I have to research that. And so it was kind of the same thing. So when I was watching that video, there was a guy in it and he's been eating Big Macs for, years like 20 years but he was still normal so i was just like well you just disproved your whole theory in my mind because you can't eat you can you can't eat for 30 days but yet he's been eating it for years i mean you know so i just you know highlight that in a youtube video more if you want to go check it out yeah yeah i would definitely love to check that out maybe we can we can drop that in the description um, oh yeah sure it's a good idea yeah that's yeah. an awesome yeah I, I remember when, you know, Super Size Me came out and I kind of took everyone by storm. So I'm definitely, I think people here would be really interested to see um, some more yeah. of that and your thoughts. But this has been super awesome, Chris. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. And before we leave off today, can yeah. you tell everyone how they can touch base with you? If they have questions, maybe they want to ask why. And, sure. <laughs> and get please. Get, get more into it so um feel free to you know share all your stuff with us tell us tell us how to get in touch with you yeah i don't even know yeah you can just google my name uh so, so it's chris with a k and uh belfry b-e-l-f-r-y and you can go to my website belfrywellness.com and i'm on instagram and i do have a youtube channel like i said which you'll drop it in the line but i think it's called uh chris the healer it's been there a long time that's awesome okay. i have over 100 videos or so yeah thanks for having me this has been fun yeah good chatting hope to have you soon again yeah that'd be great thank you thanks